you turn on the air conditioning? The air conditioner's off. I've called them and they're off. Yeah. We're going to have a short meeting, right? I was thinking. That would be the window you can see it. It's cool as it is outside. So, Terry at 10. Carl at 9. Carl at 9. Pat Dorsey's employment appraisal you can fill out. I'm okay. calling. So we have anything at the moment? Uh, oh. I have something. Wait. Uh, what about the camera? Okay. Mm -hmm. Two real quick things. Uh, the Shepherd Center, of course, uh, old building, and we're having some problems with it. And uh, we asked. Carolyn to give us some information on historic preservation grants, uh, which was, I won't go into that. I'll just put it this way. I talked to the state preservation people, and of course I've had them down here and they've looked at the town and the, and the buildings. Uh, what I would like from you guys, and the reason I want to go on camera, is it is they are of the opinion, as am I, that this particular building right here should be on the National Historic of Reg Register, or Register of Historic Places. In order to do that, there has to be a preliminary um, request put in. And that preliminary request is part of it. Uh, I'll do the preliminary request, but as part of it, you have to have permission from the owners or the, the people who control it in order to do that. And I would like permission from you guys to request that we be put on the state and national historic registers. But what's the conditions involved if you go on there? I think there's several issues that you're pretty well, uh, I want to say, controlled by what you can do, what you can't do as far as, that's I think that's what I'm there are some, There are some conditions, and I can certainly bring, bring those into you. I'll uh, actually that. Uh, both the state and the federal people uh, are just extraordinarily impressed with this building. First off, because of the shape of it. Secondly, because it is in the art modern style, but it is much more ornate than any of the others. And then, of course, the historical significance of the fact that it was completed just prior to the Great Depression. Uh, so, yeah, I, I can get that. I'd like to see that first. Okay. I, I know I've, I've had people inquire about it and after they got into it a ways, they said it was just more than they wanted to. There are some restrictions. Do that you, that in order, like a little house up the country or something like that, or a home, homestead you over 100 years old, you want to do that. And uh, that's why they, you know, they, they decided not to. So that's why I'd like to see the condition before we make a decision myself. Yeah. Certainly. And then we have to ask you for permission. Yes, sir. And you always got to go to the bonds. So that's yeah. not <laughs> but it's something to consider there, but like I said, they were just... I know, but as I said, I said Kansas Sanford just had a list that we had the other day, actually had it. Well, I think it's worth pursuing. Yeah, I do too. Well, Kansas Sanford's got us on the, uh, uh, you know, one of the, and as I mean, one time, uh, uh, with the information about our courthouse and the uniqueness of it and the design and, and the condition of it. Mm -hmm. They made a real big point of telling me that we have a lot of buildings in St. John that should be on the state bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the Shepherd Center is one of the buildings, mm -hmm. actually, probably that whole block. But again, there are restrictions. Right. There are some things you can do. They won't allow you. They won't allow you to use their money to put in drop ceilings and stuff. But uh, all three of those buildings on on that block, of course, the city office being a. 1880s convention center and offer house. And right. Yeah. The number of the other buildings should be on the state. Yeah, there's a lot of historic buildings in town. And homes, too. I mean, yes. that's. Well, and an interesting thing I found out is that there are a tremendous number of uh, grants and opportunities uh, once they're put onto the, the register. Uh, so this would help to get some money, perhaps, to help. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, he indicated that there is a uh, $90,000 grant that's an 80-20 grant, and they pay the 80, we pay the 20, but you get a 30% tax credit, which can actually be physically sold. I don't understand those, but I've heard about 
which would, would essentially cover the 20% that we have to do. So. Okay, well, thank you for coming to Thank you. Sounds great. Okay, so I guess we'll wait until 9 o'clock. Unless something else comes up, we'll recess. Step increase for uh, Maribel Tobar. She's due for her regular step increase effective October 1st. October? Yeah, I'm way ahead. Okay. How can we do this? This is too soon. <laughs> I would think it's September. It's not but, that okay. I'm normally. Can't okay. Do I'm usually. Can we just hold that off for 45 days and then? No, I might forget to come back. It'll be effective. October. She'll remind you. Effective me. October. Yeah. I'll bet she'll remind you. Take a long vacation or something. <laughs> yeah. She does a real good job. She's very diligent in her work, and she's a very detailed person. Um, so she has the ability to, you know, go in something backwards and find that. Uh, of an error and you know be able to figure it out. Accuracy is really good. And she seemed very pleasant in the office. Yeah, she is. So, I'd make motion we go ahead and increase uh, our bill tow bar from range 4, 3C to 4, 4D. Second that. Oh, effective yeah. October the 1st. Been moved and second that this the step increase will not go into effect until October the 1st, 2011. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Um, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, I'm going to check into starting from this point forward um, our um, microfilming, our tax roll, and maybe our general ledger. I'm going to try to get some costs. Um, just off the top of my head, it cost me like 0 .016 cents to print it on a piece of paper. Well, it only cost two cents to put it on a microfilm. So, you know, in my mind, I'm looking at five, ten, fifteen books in my vault compared to a roll of microfilm that's this big. And for only a half a cent difference in your cost, I, I think that's really something we should look into because storage, it's going to be cheaper to store microfilm in, in the salt mines than it is to Basically store those big books. So um, with your guys' permission, I'd like to investigate that a little bit more. And, See if that's something cost prohibit, prohibitive. Do you do that, or does whoever has the microfilm do they do it, or uh, we can do an electronic copy, and then they convert the electronic copy to uh, microfilm. So, like, I can send it to them in PDF format or TIFF or what I don't know what format they won't like it in, but then they just convert it to microfilm, and then send me the microfilm. I look it over, make sure it all looks appropriate, and then send it to the salt mine. And then I keep a copy on our server for us to access, so then I wouldn't even have to print the paper copy anymore. So we would, our, our permanent copy that I have to keep a statute would be in the salt mine. I'd keep a copy on our server just for us to access. And then our server is backed up, so that's just another security copy in case something would happen with our server. I would still have a backup. Trying to get away from printing all of these. And microfilm permanent? Yeah, that's the only permanent archival resource there is. But it is permanent. Yeah. It's cellular, so it does have a life expectancy of about 75 years in a proper environment. That's the only thing the Historical Society accepts for archiving. No. I think it's 
good plan. Sure sounds like it's worth it. Yeah, I think so. Let's say we pay all the storage out there. Well, I keep adding more because it costs us more. For a half penny more, a document that's still printed on a piece of paper, I can, you know, I think that's pretty. Yeah, better It's about the same cost. Probably. Well, it's pay storage on this for sure. Well, yeah, but storage on all those big books that I have, it's going to be a lot cheaper if you store yeah, that's it. what I just said. Oh, okay. I misunderstood. Sorry. Okay, I'll check into that then. All right. <coughs> we'll recess. Okay, yeah, we're ready? Yeah. Okay, I have um, on my, my annual maintenance plan that I send to the state every year. There's two phases that I need to get Commissioner Singer on. Um, that's the, uh, the yearly one, and then this is the mandated. Just to make sure we have enough days and, and, and employees to do the job and so forth. And we do it every year. That one there didn't change at all, neither from that one from last year. So uh, those are just the phases, just to kind of remind you the, to the right, those are the, to the left, those are the phases that we do. And then how many parcels we have, and, and then this is the date, the calendar type thing mm -hmm. what we do uh, throughout the year. Then and give you a calendar of what we do. And with that, will go in with the budget on that the budget, and then that's actually called the appraisal maintenance specification. So if we don't you sign it, you <laughs> if you don't sign it, I'll still send it on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send it on in a protest. Yeah. I'd make a motion we approve, uh, approve the appraisal, what, make that change in specification? Specifications. I'll second it. All right. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. All right. Motion carried. So, so you sit there and you read this. I mean, you, how much time do you spend doing this to decide how much time you need to? It don't take me very long anymore. Okay. Not anymore. Than <laughs> it used to. I mean, it used to take a while to, to get off that up. We actually had to do that for the company I used to work for, and then the state kind of took that on. It's a good thing. Make sure you get your bases covered. Sure. You did sign. Is that supposed to? Yeah, that's why you just need those two pages. Yeah, I'll sign it. Good No, don't sign for me. And then the only other thing I had was uh, we needed one more member on the, the joint the planning commission. I don't know if you guys. Who knew this? Wade Harris and. Uh, mm -hmm. Did we tell you? And you. Those names we have. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't know if you wanted to call him. Vance Fisher called and he said he would like to do it, or Shane Stamey said he would like to do it. Uh, for the location, for the, the member that went off, Shane would probably be in a better location. For the, you know, because we try to keep them, the members throughout the county anyway. Well, I replaced me. Yeah, we well, see, we had. We have Debbie Suter, she's going to, she joined uh, for Wade, we need somebody for Daryl now. And that's the other two names. That and you said both of them had uh, Sean Anderson? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys want to call them. But no, it's fine. You're thinking that uh, who would be... Probably for the location would be Shane. To cover that area mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. You no, 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 okay. All okay. All right. I'll go ahead and call. Appreciate that. And then that was more than volunteer. I yeah, that's pretty good. That's fine. That's yeah. good. Fine. And then we'll be back, back to full, full board. Then. Okay. That's all I have. Short, sweet. Do you guys have anything for me? Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Good point. Yeah.
We are having a disaster drill at Hudson on Thursday evening at the community center at 6 o'clock. Anybody wants to come, let me do it. If you'd like to come, we'll, we'll have Bobby Drill there before the uh, kind of the kick it off and get everybody started. And, uh, representatives from the Flower Mill will also participate. Uh, we had a pretty serious accident this morning on Highway 50 right by. 281. It wasn't at the intersection, right? Prior to the intersection coming from on the east side, uh, which did light light out one person from the car. The car semi head on. Well, it was, it was head on collision. Head on collision. Early this morning? No, a little after four. Oh, yeah. um, and the only other thing I have is, is if I could have an executive session meeting for 10 minutes. To, uh, about we have an executive section or not a person that attends. I second motion. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. We're running for 10 minutes. Okay. That's the last ball. you know, of our auditors and as well, well, well as ourselves. You know, we so we said we could, but we should probably should not. And by lowering the mill levy, we... We lowered it around that. We uh, had to dip into the cash reserves, which they thought was a good idea, it was spending down the reserves. But we found out that it probably wasn't the right thing we should have done. We should have left the mill levy where it was at. Consequently, we wouldn't have a mill levy increase this year. And if, if it wasn't uh, an increase, it would have been a mill or not as, not as much as we had to have this year. How much did you have to increase it this year? Five point, um, not quite six. Five point seven, I think, somewhere around there. One of your concerns was that people can relate that to the annex. That yeah, it, it wasn't. That wasn't the case. It wasn't. That money wasn't. Uh, several things. I just talked to Lisa here about the go sheet. Correct me if wrong, but not over probably a couple of years ago. But you know, the interest we was earning on the money at the banks was around close to eighty thousand dollars a year you know, income coming in. Now this year probably we're lucky to get 20 and all of this money, actually reserve is, is, is a, you, you have a budget for departments and such and, and reserves come from savings. If, this, is if the uh, departments save money for what the budget was and that ends up to be observed then. Isn't that correct? Mm -hmm. you, you thought we were wrong, okay? Mm -hmm. you, So your uh, shortcomings in your various budgets, you said various things, those are for like all of your different departments. Right, well, that road and bridge is one thing, and, and of course the price of oil was coming I mean, this, and uh, just general operation down there was more than actually we budgeted and, and had to dip into the reserves and, you know, in order to maintain the project. That, that depleted that reserve. 
That was the biggest single. That was one of the biggest struggles. I mean, we believe that. I mean, uh, our auditors said, you know, we need to build that back up, but you got you don't know for an emergency. That's why you have reserve four. And our general fund is, is, is top right data, is that correct? And you don't you need to have money in that. Uh, you don't know what emergency you might have. I mean, out of that fund, general fund, actually, uh, a large court case or anything should come into that fund. And, and, uh, expensive one, a lengthy one, and that could, you got to have money available in these reserves in order to fund these. We're not in a position like a federal government, we can't just raise the limit. Now, another question I've got to get asked a lot is they see a lot going, how's the, how's the ambulance EMS budget working? Did it do good? It's, yes, I think it did pretty well. We've got, we've got our collections up a lot better. Yeah, we were actually able to cut some funding for that because our collections are, are yeah, better. And the collections have been bad. We've had been heavily. Uh, did we actually cut some money out of that budget because of that? I thought we did. We well, and well, that's one department that we so made the savings. Yeah. Right. It, well, it did. It yeah. helps fund, but, but by the uh, self, funds. Yeah. They you didn't really cut their budget, but they're self-sustained yeah, for this right. next year. Well, but what they anticipate, what they would make, and what we had. Thought they would make this to be more, so we didn't have a lot more money in that area. Yeah, we didn't cut the budget, but we did. Yeah, we cut the budget. It actually did cut. Some other salaries. I'm sorry. So that was one of the bright spots. Any other bright spots? Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty hard to do. I mean, when you're looking at. What do you think your expenses are going to be like next year? And you know, the budget this year, you know, a prime example is the price of the road oil. You know, we have no idea what the price of road oil is. What it will be next year. And our health insurance. Yeah, yeah that's health insurance what, that's was another one too. That was a that was a large one. We had a large expense. How we didn't realize that. Right. That that has to be replaced. We're self-insured, self and we had some claims. And we, uh, we get along fine. This goes along fine, but to once in a while you get hit twice in one year, and, it, and we budget for what we think, and we you can't predict what's you know don't 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 fall to the employees, but just something happens. Those were the two main things. That was the main one, basically. But it didn't it, it didn't he had X was an impact on the the budget you. Has to be auditor about that. Is that right? Did it hmm? impact the annex? Didn't impact our our bail no. at all. Plus, I remember too. We we have we're uh, uh, the county now. It owns a separate hospital, you know, and we're funding that the last couple three years, and that's about how many mills? Five points. Well, over five. Over well, five mills that taxpayers are. It goes on to the, their budget. Oh, there's another bright spot. We were able to reduce the, the landfill by uh, hundred and some thousand dollars. It's being a new cell out there. The C and D cell. It's the kind of thing we do we cut, do we quit fixing our roads or do we go move on and, and even like the landfill, the county pays the uh, uh, the county taxpayers paid the, the tipping fee down at Hutchinson, which is what per ton that they charge us to put our materials. Of course, the, in the towns and stuff, you pay, or city or country, you pay a, a local person to pick it up, but that's just for the pickup service. So we, we pay for all the everything. The tonnage that goes down. That's why we encourage the recycling as much as we can. To, uh, every ton saves every taxpayer that much money. I just start speaking. You guys go ahead. Yeah, Bill, okay. yeah he's doing good. I mean, yeah. I don't. <coughs> Terry, got any questions? That's so, what I'm saying. Anything else you can think of that we have talked about? You want to add? If not, um, economic development. That our budget went down on that, or no, we no. went up. Oh, I mean, I thought the budget. It fluctuates with the valuation. Yeah, I thought the budget we turned it. I mean, was less. We made some cuts on it last year. 
Your budget should have been higher because the mill yeah. value. Was so your budget value. doesn't have a, it doesn't have reserve. Like some departments that you have, because it's just. And that's the budget even if it's even if it's even getting grants this year. Now the only reason I brought that up is just now make the official on the key moment of design for the economic development. All right. Yeah. I mean, they're doing a good job and everything. I just take my time to be better spent doing something like we did with our uh, hot summer nights and we're trying to do more that make some of the smoothing and nice things like that here in town. So it seems like kind of president of the CIP and decided to all that would be Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah, and then I'll let Carolyn know and I'll tell her I can still have the uh, fair food this year because we have all the people. I haven't, haven't heard anything from Fair Booth. Have you heard anything from any blood or are they cool? I am. We got uh, Carolyn Wemming who run it out of economic development and they've set up a, a dress code down kind of give you some guidelines on what to talk about at it and stuff so it'll be a little bit more structured and focused, which I think would be good. Are they going to ban it down themselves? Um, I think we're going to see about getting help from the county, which possibly and people from the board, and then maybe a few volunteers. But yeah, basically, like I say you'll have to just use it. It's not a housing activity. You need to be involved. Like, you know, we all work with them. A few volunteers that are going in. And the people are taking a little bit of on, so they're trying to make it more of a, you know, interacting where you visit with people like you, just go to the next door to us and stuff like that. So. Kind of trying to step it up another notch, which we needed. I mean, we made some improvements over the last couple of years to get the ability to guide up and, and uh, get rid of uh, the help for sculpture mismatch of the brochures and things like that. And so now they step up and get a little bit of a kind of good message to put out in front of them. I think that would be a good thing, too. So it's actually helped out a lot. But good. All right. Well, I'm happy if you guys Any are questions ready. for us? Nope, I think so. You answered my few questions about the annex. Now, well, I guess one the the overruns on the annex um, that was also you guys, you know, like I think there's some overruns on carpeting I saw and yeah. landscaping and stuff. That was all stuff that was planned for ahead of time to take those as well. Well, I did plan by that. Actually, just it's just like being this around here. The as far as the, uh, the courthouse itself, it's uh, our courthouse. Is, that's why one reason we accumulate some money in that. That reserve will be used for that next because we've kept the courthouse up over the years and, uh, and not had to spend a whole large amount of money in this. And uh, that's, that's basically what that was before. Is just, is that right? Yeah, of course, the landscaping was not included in the remodel. That was, a, just a, yeah. that was an afterthought. Yeah. So. But after you got all done, it needed something out there in front of Yeah. Sorry about that. Maybe get her the part you draw with care where it goes, right? Well, I don't, I don't see any problem with the parking yeah. out there. The only, the only problem will be is when they have an event, you know, in the evening or something like that. That, that part of the parking should be available for emergency crews, and you know, in case something happens. Oh, yeah. So that's during the daytime. Yeah. Yeah, then in the evening, then you're counting a lot of prices. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so, we, so. Yeah. we got the area for them to load, done load there for the Andy Evans specific yeah. area. Oh, we had to put in, so it's in there. Yeah. Well, but the front of the building needs to be open across our part of to see if you have someone to hurt or car or anything yeah. like that. The lolly, I think you're supposed to have yeah, cars sure. over in there. I'm sure you do. I'm not, I don't know, but okay, that's my thoughts. I'm sure. Sure. I, would, I would assume so. Anything yeah. has to do with the county or city the state facility, I'm sure you got something like that. But yeah. yeah. I'd say the evenings when they have big events in the winter or up uh, across the NXE, the one, you got the county lots of each other. Yeah, because I think we have plenty of parking now. Yeah. And I think as I found that the annex is available for rent, rental, is it? For parking. Yeah. And so, yeah. and we have a rental, and, and uh, anyone's, you know, entitled to rent it, and all the guidelines, and uh, leave it. They'll put a deposit up and, and, and the deposit will be, the check will be cashed as long as they leave it the same like conditions and listen to the What's the deposit? Pardon? We can put $200. Yeah. We've got to have $100. Thought, well, maybe for $100, some people decide not to clean it up. So yeah. we, we thought maybe $200, then 
they would go ahead and clean it up without that. Yeah, and now it's changed from before when you had drinks and, and, and food and things like that again, right? Yes. There's, there's a, there's a limit on it, so it's kind of like yeah. a bank. You might um, send us a, say your guidelines sometime rather than like, because you, you have an open house for me, I think, sometimes. We are soon, as soon as the landscaping's done and you know, all things, so all the lights, all the lights work. <laughs> Get that together and since, since then we'll do a special And then we will feature. have a, we'll have a, open to the public. We'll, we'll do a special feature on the layout on the page and stuff, so we can try to shop there construction and that stuff. Right, right. everybody should be out of that. People yeah. know that. Yeah, we can get all that in there. Yeah. That'll, That'll be, be okay. okay. All the rules and everything. All right, sounds like plenty to me. Um, all right, well, thanks for coming up, Terry. I thought it was you. Can you make me helpful, helpful to the the readers. Yes, exactly. We're good. We'll get this worked up. Should have it in this week. All right, thanks. All right, All right thanks. thanks. See you, Bert. We'll recess. Uh, okay, we're back time. in session. Then you finish this later. Anything else? The agenda is taken care of. Okay, we're adjourned.